Welcome to our next video in vlogging for beginners. If you're, like I keep saying, don't buy new equipment, and I'll keep saying it because I'm trying to save you some money here, but let's talk about this as if you're using a smartphone. Your, your first vlogging adventures will begin in a smartphone. Um, so the first thing you have a problem with is orientation. When you're making videos, don't record that way round. Record that way round. There's a reason for it. When you do it that way round, you end up with the... If you imagine the screen, it's this wide. It is not this wide. So when you record stuff, it just copies... It, it just saves it in the middle. So you need to be that way round so it will actually match your TV monitor screen. Just remember... You watch a TV that way around. You don't watch a TV that way around, unless it's my monitor, which is actually designed to be the way. But the, the important thing here, always record that way around. Otherwise, your videos are going to look really naff. Um, the next thing is shaky videos. Shaky videos are a big problem on YouTube. Although there's a lot of stabilization software out there, YouTube does stabilize stuff for people, but it's always better not to be shaky in the first place because you, there will, will be some distortion stuff it cannot fix. So one of the things I will say is when you're recording, try to do it with a solid hand. You know, don't do it like that because you're going to have some movement there. As you know, it's very floppy, but if you use both hands, it's quite stable. Also, you see my fingers, they're not down here, because as you can see, on this side, no, this side, my lens is here. So what I'm trying to do, if I'm always like that, my fingers are never on the lens. So always try and keep your hands away from the camera and use both hands. You know, as you can see here, even with it, you know, just holding it, it's got a lot more movement than if... I'm using both hands. Even better, get a tripod. And I know for smartphones, tripods aren't often uh, the greatest things because often cheap and small. But I would say if you're going to invest in a small tripod for this, I would get a Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pods are rock solid. You can wrap them around a tree. You can um, put them on the table. So if you're eating dinner and wanted to talk, you can actually they're useful and they're cheap enough they're, they're reliable and smartphones fit them which is the other important thing uh, the third hit, uh, thing for today is lighting first thing I say is don't buy lighting yet lighting is one of the most important things you've got that will enhance your videos as you can see here I only have the room light on but it's quite a bright light because this one's got two two I think it's actually three bulbs in it, which is the room's quite bright. Um, but I should actually have more light on my face, making it nice and bright, etc. But I get away with it in here 90% of the time. So if you've got problems with lighting, start with some table lamps. Adjust your table lamps. Look around and see what you've got that you can scrap and try and make some stuff. I would have a look online for things like Instructables. Instructables will have some ideas on stuff you can use with some of your older lighting and bits and pieces around the house or even nipping down the hardware store and seeing what sort of cheap stuff they've got just to get you started. The main thing I'm trying to get people to do here is get a setup going first then later on you can invest in stuff because what happens is get used to making videos first get used to seeing if you actually like doing it does it become boring etc because what you're trying to do is see if you actually enjoy it before you invest lots of money in something you may not continue to do. I know you're going to keep doing it, but at the same time, if you've got a budget set up, it hasn't cost you a lot of money, but then you might find later that you need to invest in a new mic, for example, and you haven't bought expensive lighting that you didn't need, but now can invest in a mic. So that that's the more important thing, is to actually just get a setup that works, basic keep it simple later on invest as you go because you might be like me where audio is more important than my lighting although i do have multiple different types of lights i can use it's just i'm stuck for space so the mic is more convenient for me 
But later on, it may be that I have to upgrade into a bigger space, get lighting, get my green screen and stuff for other bits and pieces I'm doing. But at the, at the moment, keep it simple, keep it to what you've got space for, keep it for what you can afford. All right, thanks for watching.